semi truck drivers are creating traffic jams in Covington as they try and navigate those local streets. Yeah, the problem stems from the Brent Spence bread Bridge being closed. Local 12's Christian Hauser set out to learn why the drivers aren't following the order to take 275 or 471 around the city. Traffic is still pretty bad here on 5th Street in Covington, but I have only seen a few semis take this route. That's probably why, driving here from the Florence area, I noticed the exit ramp wasn't nearly as backed up as it has been. Local traffic is being provided one lane of access up to 5th Street. So what we're asking is continued patience as we uh, continue over the working over the holiday on the bridge repairs. Many truck drivers aren't getting that local only message from Kentucky Transportation Secretary Jim Gray. I spent several hours at the rest stop in Florence talking with truck drivers about how they get around. None of them wanted to go on camera, but they did share why they thought we were seeing so many tractor trailers in Covington. The main reason is their GPS. A lot of them rely on Google or Apple Maps. As they're driving, they can't see the sharp turns that await them in Covington. And since time is money, they'll take the shortest and quickest route possible. So this truck may not have even known how tight this was before seeing it. Secondly, based on CB chatter, many drivers say they didn't even know the bridge was shut down. So it's a surprise when they start seeing the bridge closed signs. Lastly, I'm told many of the drivers, they just don't care about the signs telling them to go around. They just want the shortest path. For the semi trucks that do come through the area, this is the preferred routing through Main Street. They don't have any really tight turns to deal with, and once they get on Main Street from Pike Street, it's a straight shot onto the Clay Wade Bailey Bridge. I saw a lot more semis on this street than in previous days. I'll be talking with Kentucky Transportation Cabinet Secretary Jim Gray tomorrow. I'll be asking him what will be done if these tractor trailers continue to be a problem, and could enforcement be stepped up to issue tickets instead of just warnings? In Covington, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. And Christian tells us work to repair the Brent Spence Bridge is already underway after that fiery crash. The bridge is expected to reopen to traffic on December 23rd. Well, still